Now, Lacta, I'm here to give a study this morning, and the study will be the King's Meat. And we're going to start our study this morning in Daniel chapter 1, starting with verse 1. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, came Nechemeneser, king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem, and he besieged it. Um, the third year, three is in the Holy Spirit. Jehoiakim means to stand up, rise up from getting up from a sitting or re. Um, or re erecting um, as in some statue establish uh, someone into office uh, denotes an ability or a power to stand uh, height highness uprighteousness Nechemeneser means to speak on behalf of or instead of as in some authority as a prophet a prophetess also a fire glowing or baking, also a gem as a ruby um, to struggle, an instrument of war as a javelin, a dart. And Jerusalem um, prophetically be in a condition of truth, and he besieged it. This um, by bringing um, his mouth of authority to fight against truth. Um, that will be prophetically. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with part of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shinar, to the house of his God. And he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. God's children will be taken under the authority um, of Babylon, um, but will be born out of Zerubbabel, will be in Babel. They will be born out of that confusion. And the king spake unto Ashpenaz, the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel and of the king's seed and of the princes. Uh, Ashpenaz meaning fire offering, sprinkling of blood, uh, and sometimes uh, water, um, fire like sprinkles. Uh, four, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored and skillful in all wisdom, wisdom and cunning and knowledge and understanding science, and such had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, in whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. Um, a blemish, children uh, whom was no blemish, uh, that is a spot. Thy aren't fair, my love, there is no spot in thee. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and a crooked generation. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable un until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ they being of the spirit not in the flesh to stand as in uh, Je as in King Jehoiakim to be upright they stand with the king of Judah as by um, as being one in Christ Jesus for you brethren have become the church followers of the churches of God which are in Christ Jesus and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans this being the wisdom of the Babylonian Empire. They were known for their highly educated people, um, uh, astronomy, astrology, um, then five. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank, so nourish them three years, that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Uh, this being the nourishment of the wisdom of the Chaldeans, uh, his truce that they might stand before the king. We will have that choice, who we, are, who we will stand for. Who will stand for the Holy Spirit or who will bow and, and deny the Holy Spirit. The three years, three is in the Holy Spirit, uh, six. And now among these were of the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azar Azariah. These being the children of Judah, Judah, those that are one in Christ Jesus, who are of, of Jehoiakim, being upright ones. Daniel meaning to judge, govern, meaning a person who is wiser, stronger, older in contrast to the governing done by a formal um, government, um, that being one ju judge, um, the lion of the, um, that uh, old lion, 
uh, of the ancients, this being the last two and a half months of the Lord's day, when Yahweh will enter into the vessels he chooses to dwell within. Uh, that old lion being roused up in righteousness, uh, righteous judgment, upright, standing for righteous laws, not uh, bowing to the king of Babylon's commandments, uh, but God's. Hananiah meaning gracious, favor. Uh, Mishael meaning who was like God. Azariah meaning Yah has helped as to enclose. Unto whom the prince of the Enochs gave names, for he gave unto Daniel the name of Belshazzar, and to Hananiah of Shadrach, and to Mishael of Meshach, and Azariah of Abednego. Uh, Belshazzar meaning Bel, protect the king. Bel was a patron deity of Babylon, closely related to Baal, meaning to exercise dominion over, to own, control, lord over. Also means destruction, terror, calamity, um, depleting of strength, um, Shadrach meaning the Babylonian god of the moon, Meshach um, that draws with force, and Abednego meaning um, government of Nebo, the Babylonian god of wisdom. Uh, eight, but Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank, therefore he requested of the prince of the Enochs that he might defile, uh, not defile himself. But Daniel, Daniel meaning God is my judge, in his heart as in his spirit, defile as to desecrate, um, pollute, uh, to treat a sacred thing with disrespect, that being the vessel that will hold Yahweh. Uh, portion as in as in dainty and we're going to go over uh, we'll hold your place there and we'll go over to Luke 12 35 let your loins be girded about and your lights burning we are to have our loins girded about in truth, that being those that are of Judah, lights as in spiritual illumin illumination, spiritual intellect. And you yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding, and that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. This being when he returns, that's being when he will come to this earth in the spirit as he went up in the spirit this being in the last two and a half months of the five months of uh, that being of revelation 19 um, that is when he comes in supernaturally um, let me read that starting with verse 11 and I saw heaven open that being the supernatural realm being opened up and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true and in righteousness he does judge and make war his eyes were as the flame of fire and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of God and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses clothed and fine linen white and clean and out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it he shall smite the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of almighty god and he has on his vesture and on his thigh a name written king of kings and the lord of lords he will enter uh, first uh, his bride uh, that will be the two witnesses she was the first to recognize him in the spirit and um dropped her water pot and went into the city to share with them of Christ as in Christos uh, the anointed one and she will um, prepare um, them for that marriage that being um, when they um, that being that marriage invitation that being when they're sleeping uh, they will be they will be woken up by the sound of church bells they will ring twice as a double witness uh, that will be your invitation that that the high priest Melchizedek is there um, the bells were on the bottom of the high priest's robe. Um, then you will see a vision of a man sleeping with breath being blown on him. This will be the quickening, making you spiritually alive, that you will be able to spiritually see and hear uh, the spirit. 
When you see this man sleeping with breath being blown on him, this will let you know that you have been anointed in the Levitical priesthood of the end days. It is Jesus Christ himself who will anoint his priesthood. Uh, then 37. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meat and will come forth and serve them. This being when you will be fed his meat, the spiritual truths. This being when the old lion is roused up from his sleeping slumber. Uh, he will be that one that will feed you these truths. Uh, 38. And if he shall come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them so blessed, are those servants. He will visit each one of us three times to present the marriage. And then that window of opportunity will be closed. Um, Daniel being the third year, three is in the Holy Spirit, that being the seventh dimension of time when the spiritual man is to come forth. Seven meaning spiritual completeness, um, them being those that um, will listen, listen and um, be on watch. Uh, and this, know, know that if the good men of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. That being that thief that is coming to resist this union by instead feeding them with the king's meat, uh, his spiritual nourishment of the perverse spirit to resist the union of the wedding as in Genesis 6. When God's children start to come forth in the spirit, uh, Satan will come to resist that union, as he did in Genesis 6. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, daughters being the spiritual side of man, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. They came in to mingle the seed to resist the Holy Spirit with their perverse spirit. And the Lord said, My spirit, as in his Holy Spirit, shall not always strive with man, for he also is flesh, because he chose flesh over the spirit. Yet his days shall be 120 years. 120 20 being a divinely appointed time of waiting when God will save 12,000 from each tribe of Israel being the 144,000 and then in Revelation 12 verse 7 and there was war in heaven Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought in his angels and they prevailed not neither was their place found anymore in heaven and that great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceiveth the whole world he was cast out onto the earth and his angels were cast out uh, with him he will enter um, first um, to his bride, um, being the two witnesses. She was the first to recognize him in the spirit. And, um, wait a minute, I've already read that. Um, and then 40, uh, verse 40. Be you therefore ready also, for the Son of Man cometh at an hour when you think not. He will come um, to us at different times uh, for each person. Uh, everyone is different, and, and he treats them, um, them so. Um, he will wait um, for them to recognize him in the Spirit. Um, and then he will come to them. Then Peter said unto him, Lord, speakest thou this parable unto us or even to all? And the Lord said, Who then is that faithful and wise steward whom his Lord shall make ruler over his household to give them their portion of meat in due season? In due season, in the time appointed, this will be when you uh, will have seen the vision. Uh, then you will be fed by your king. This the old lion, the king of Judah, your high priest, Melchizedek. 43. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Of a truth I say unto you, that he will make him ruler over all that he hath. But and if that servant say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to beat the men servants and maidens, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken, to eat and drink and be drunken with the perverse spirit of the king of Babylon that we are to stand against. The Lord has mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggereth in his vomit. 
the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in sunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. And that servant which knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not, and did commit things worthy of stripes, shall be beaten with few stripes, for unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much of him, they will ask the more. Um, this being the meat of truth. When it is presented to you, you are to give it exactly how it was given to you. You are not to add to it um, with, your man, with man's words, as in the spot, the blemish, or take away from it. This will be the judgments. This is what will cause... Um, this will bring the judgments uh, of the little book. This is what uh, causes the belly to be bitter because it's going to bring the judgments on the people. And we're going to read of that little book in Revelation 10. This is what will be given to us uh, in the last two and a half months. This being Judah, those that are going to rule, um, that those are those that will judge uh, the nations. Um, starting with verse 8 and the voice which i heard from heaven spoken to me again and said go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel it is open in the hand of the angel angel being a spiritual messenger which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth and i went unto the angel and i said unto him give me the little book and he said unto me take it and eat it up and it shall make thy belly bitter but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey and i took the little book out of the angel's hand and i ate it up and it was in my mouth sweet as honey and as soon as i had eaten it my belly was bitter because it is the judgments and he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations, tongues and kings. The peoples, multitudes, nations and tongues is what the beast rises up out of. That is where the judgments will take place. Then 49. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if I... if if it be already kindled this fire will come out of his levitical priesthood's mouth these beings the tongues of fire uh, it can warm you or it can burn you i am i the spirit of yahweh and am the vessels that will be his host the lord of hosts but i have a baptism to be baptized with and how am i straightened um, till it be accomplished suppose you that i am come to give peace on earth i tell you nay but rather division um it will cause division the light as in spiritual intellect spiritual illumination from the darkness as in wickedness obscurity as in the state of being unknown and hidden those that are of true judah and those that will lie and say that they are jews uh judah but are the uh, synagogue of satan uh, then um luke 15 11. And a certain, uh, and he said, a certain man had two sons, sons being the builders of the family. And the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living, uh, uh, good um, goods as in possession. Some will choose spiritual inheritance, and some will choose the um, material inheritance. Um, the younger uh, will come forth last uh, in the spirit. Um, their spirit will come uh, forth last. They will live in the flesh and will come forth in the spirit. Uh, they were, um, and not many days after the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living. He wasted his substance as in the spiritual treasure by living for the flesh, resisting of the Holy Spirit, living for the fleshly lust. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in want. When the four winds are released, the Holy Spirit will be withdrawn and will only be in those that have taken of the marriage, um, that being with the meat. Uh, and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his fields to feed swine. Uh, he joined with those of uh, being prophetically of Babylon, uh, he being um, that 
uh, prophetically the king of Babylon sent him, as in God's children, to feed the swine. Swine being the lowest form of flesh that eat garbage. You are not to cast your pearls, as in your pearls of wisdom, to swine. They are not spiritually open to receive it. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. Swine, be, uh, swine nourishment, which is spiritual garbage, the king's meat that will be worthless in God's kingdom of the spirit. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my fathers have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will, um, um, I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. I will arise as in Daniel. I have sinned by eating the king's meat. Am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy hired servants, uh, one with uh, being uh, true Judah, not those that lie and say that they are Jews, uh, Judah, but, but are the synagogue of Satan. Uh, and he arose and he came to his father. And when he was yet a great far off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. He was waiting for that awakening to come so he can visit him, recognizing of his Holy Spirit uh, over the perverse spirit. God cannot force his spirit on us. He will wait for the awakening of his children and rejoice when the, they finally recognize their first love. Um, that being uh, him keeping his commandments over man. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven. And in thy sight am no more worthy to be called thy son. Against heaven, as in recognizing the spiritual realm over the earthly, reverencing um, the heavenly over the earthly. But the father, uh, asking for forgiveness. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. He is brought into the fold under the king of Judah, the Levitical priesthood, under the high priest Melchizedek. And bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. This being the marriage feast, the sacrifice the, of, of the circumcision of the heart, opening up your heart's door, so he can sup with you. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and found, and they began to be merry. Uh, dead in the flesh, alive again as when we were of the first day with I am. I am Alpha in the omega the beginning and the end says the lord which is and which was and which is to come the almighty we were with us with him in the first day and we will be with him in the end now is El um at the time appointed to come forth now his elder son was in the field and as he came and drew nigh to the house he heard music and dancing this being the elder the firstborn of the flesh the sixth day man that comes forth first but He's still in the flesh, not understanding that he's supposed to come to the marriage, letting go of man's labor and allowing the spirit to take over. And he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. He should have known what it meant. Uh, he was to be one in Judah. And he said unto him, Thy brother is come, and thy father has killed the fatted calf, because he has received him safe and sound. He has received him safe and sound, as in sound um, of mind, of the spirit. And he was angry and would not go in. Therefore came his father out and entreated him. He would not go in. He feels what he has is enough. He's refusing to give up his um, manly wisdom to go in. We must be willing to give up the king, king's meat of man to take of the meat of our high priest Melchizedek that will come after um, we feast with him opening up our stony heart and i will give them one heart and i will put a new spirit within you it, it's a new spirit and i will take the stony heart out of their flesh and will give them a heart of flesh uh, that is pliable and he answering said to his father lo these many years do i serve thee neither transgressed i at any time thy commandment and yet thy never gave us me a kid that i may marry with my friends he is speaking to his fleshly father, not his heavenly father. Uh, father, um, we are to choose. We we are to choose our the Elijah ministry is to choose our fleshly father or our heavenly father. Uh, eating of the king's meat of Babylon or the king's meat of Judah. Uh, he is saying I and not I am. 
We do nothing on our own. We are to take on I am. We be in the vessels for his mouth, not our own, uh, as in um, supplanters, uh, talking as gods. Uh, they are his friends, not our friends. We are one in Christ Jesus, one of the servants, of, as in verse 26. But as soon as thy son was come, which had devoured thy living with harlots, thy has killed for him the fatted calf. This being when, um, and he's, uh, that being um, fornicating um, with the harlot system. And he said unto him, Son, thy art ever with me, and all that I have is thine. I, it was meet that we should make merry and be glad for this thy brother was dead and is alive again and was lost and is found this be him when is he, when he is entreating him to come in he will not force us the king of babylon will force his way on us but the king of judah will entreat us as to call um near that is to invite and then we're going to go back to daniel 1 verse 8 But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the Enoch that he might not defile himself. Now, God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the Enoch. And the prince of the Enoch said unto Daniel, I fear my lord, the king, who hath appointed your meat and your drink. For why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort? Then shall... You make me an endanger my head to the king. This be, and then said Daniel to Melzar, whom the prince of the Enoch had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Uh, Melzar meaning chief butler, um, which is a person um, who has charge of the diet of the Hebrew use. Um, um, as um, to nurture and educate, uh, also uh, a cupbearer um, uh, to guard. Um, we're going to go over to Genesis. I'll come back there, but to Genesis 39:20. And Joseph's master took him and put him into the prison, a place where the king's prisoners were bound, and he was there in the prison. God's children will be taken into captivity um, uh, um, by, the, by Babylon, uh, where the king's prisoners were bound. They were bound by his laws and commands. And he was there in the prison. He was held captive, but not bound by the king of Babylon, prophetically. But the Lord was with Joseph, Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the, sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners that were in the prison, and whatsoever they did there, he was the doer of it. Uh, Joseph, meaning may he add the increaser, um, was, um, was committed uh, to his hand, his power, the door of the prison, that being the door to release from their flesh, fleshly um, prison. Um, and the keeper of the prison looked not to anything that was under his hand, because the Lord was with him, and that which he did, the Lord made it to prosper. Uh, then 41, And it came to pass after these things that the butler, the king of Egypt, and his baker had offended their lord, the king of Egypt, the butler as in Melzar, Daniel 1, verse 11. Um, And Pharaoh was wroth with the two of his officers against the chief of the butlers and against the chief of the bakers. Um, ba ba um, butlers uh, were to nurture, educate as a tutor, and the bakers as in baked meats to bake. Uh, they are all um, adulterers as an oven heated by a baker who ceases from rising after he is kneaded. The dough will it be le uh, leavened. Uh, six and Joseph came in unto them in the morning and looked upon them and behold they were sad uh, in the morning God's children are morning risers and he asked Pharaoh's officers that were with him in the ward of his Lord's house saying wherefore look you so sadly today and they said unto him we have dreamed a dream and there is no interpreter of it and Joseph said unto them do not interpretations belong to God 
tell me them, I pray you. And the chief butler told his dream to Joseph and said to him, In my dream, behold, a vine was before me. A vine was before me, as in being one in the vine, the many-membered body of spirit-filled people. And in the vine were three branches, and it was though it budded, and her blossom shot forth, and the clusters thereof brought forth ripe grapes. Um, three... Um, three branches three is in the holy spirit um that being the budding of aaron's rod and her blossom shot forth that being of mother israel blossoms meaning to glisten uh also a wing as in um, gleaming in the air bright colored flower it is time for the levitical priesthood to come forth the 12 stars that are in her crown 12 meaning God's power and authority as well as serving as a perfect governmental foundation the nation of Israel as a whole and Pharaoh's cup was in my hand and I took the grapes and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup and I gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand he being the cupbearer which was the highest ruling official in charge of serving the king they were of a trustworthy worthy character uh, him the king's confidence was in my hand as in power and Joseph said unto him, This is the interpretation of it. The three branches are three days. Three days as in the Holy Spirit. Jesus says to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. That being that old lion roused up, the Levitical priesthood being roused up from its sleeping slumber. Yet within three day days shall Pharaoh lift up thy hand and restore thee unto thy place, and I shall deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand after the former manner when thy was his butler. Uh, you will um, once again be high ranking in power in the king's court, Pharaoh's cup, whether he will live or die, uh, that being in his hand, uh, being that cup bearer that um, guarded the, the cup that the king would drink out of. But think on me when it shall be well with thee, and show kindness, I pray thee, unto me, and make mention of me unto Pharaoh, and bring me out of this house. Uh, this being um, Meltzer. Um, as in Daniel uh, 1 verse 11 who was over Daniel and his uh, companions um, as to guard and then um, we're going to go back to verse uh, 12 in Daniel 1 prove thy servants I beseech thee ten days and let them give us pulse to eat and water to drink prove as to test we God's children will be tested to see what nourishment we will feed upon man or spirit ten meaning testimony law responsibility completeness of order God's elect will be given the responsibility of, up, of upholding the testimony they will be giving um, that being that little book of judgments um, uh, ten also is the last ruling kingdom of um, Satan, um, the six-day man by Satan's um, by Satan, representing of the uh, ten toes. Uh, that being his testimony, law, responsibility, and completeness of order. Uh, pulse um, um, to eat. Uh, that is something sown um, as uh, as to plant uh, or to scatter a seed. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace, all of them that make peace. Now he that ministered seed to the sower, both minister bread for your food, and multiply your seed, sown and, and increase the fruits of your righteousness. And um, I'm going to read... Let me see, Matthew, I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians um, 15, verse 35. But some man will say, how are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? Thou fool, that which thy sowest is not quickened, except it die. You have to die in the flesh uh, first for the spirit to come forth. And that which thy sowest, thy sowest not that body that shall be but bare grain. It may uh, chance of wheat or some other grain. 
But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. It is God uh, that uh, will give this body, um, this uh, seventh day man body. Uh, he molds them into who he, uh, his pleasure. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies of the, of the spirit and bodies terrestrial of the earthly. But the glory of the terrestrial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differ from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption, it is raised in corruption. It is sown in dishonor, it's raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it will be raised in power. It is sown a natural body, it's raised a spiritual body. There's a natural body and there's a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last uh, Adam was made a quickening spirit. How about that was not first, which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthly, uh, that being the six day man. The second man is of the Lord from heaven, that being Yahweh. As, as the, is the earthly, such are they that also that are earthly, and, uh, as is in heavenly, such are they that are heavenly. And we have borne the image of the earthly, we shall also bear the image of the he heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither does corruption inherit in corruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall they be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Uh, that being that last um, trumpet, um, that is when uh, the, the seventh day man is to come forth. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must be put on immortality. And when this, and this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to the pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. Um, we are to have the laws written in our hearts, the spiritual man. But thanks be to God, which give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be you steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, um, that being of the Spirit. Um, this being of the, um, that being um, of the, um, we being of the living waters, not Jacob's well that will thirst again. Um, and then, um, Daniel, Daniel 1, verse 13. Then let our countenance be looked upon before thee, and the countenance of the children that eat of the portion of the king's meat, and as thy seest, deal with thy servants. Um, thou hast made um, known to me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me uh, full of joy with thy countenance. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp uh, two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. So he consented to them in this matter and proved them ten days. This will be the trial of your faith on what nourishment you will choose. And at the end of the ten days, their countenance appeared fairer and fatter and flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat, because they passed their test. God's children will be tested. He will not use the spiritual weak, um, being the six-day man. Uh, 17 and as for these four children God gave them knowledge and skill and all learning and wisdom and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams um, God was now able to nourish them with the king's meat of Judah the spiritual treasure house uh, of Joseph uh, meaning uh, may he add um, being the increaser 
Uh, he's the one that was embalmed as to preserved, be preserved, that being his spirit. Now, at the end of the days that the king has said he should bring them in, then the prince of the Enochs brought them in before Nechemeneser, and the king communed with them, and among them all was not found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, Azariah, therefore, before, therefore stood they before the king. Because they were one with Yahweh in the spirit, not the flesh man. Spiritual man will have, have a higher knowledge uh, than the flesh man. Uh, they, um, they will have unlimited knowledge and wisdom, not as the flesh man that will be limited. Um, and in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in his realm. Uh, ten being testimony, law, responsibility, completeness of order, of God's perfect governmental foundation. This knowledge will prepare them for their stand, uh, as in verse 5, before the king of Babylon, as in the resistance uh, of that being Satan's kingdom, being set up to resist God's kingdom, kingdom by setting up their laws and commands to serve man over God, bringing them back to the flesh. Uh, Daniel 2, um, 31. Thou, O king, sawest, and behold, a great image, this great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. This great image, an image, image is a representation of the external form of a person or thing in art, the general impression that a person, an organization, or a product presents to the public. The representation of the external form of a person or thing in art is the coronavirus symbol. Corona meaning crown, a crown being a circular a headpiece worn by a monarch as a symbol of authority to their laws and commands, this being the trial of our faith. Ten meaning testimony, law, responsibility, completeness of order that the trial of your faith be a much more precious than gold that perishes, though it be trialed, tried with fire, that being that um, head of gold um, might be found unto, um, that perishes and that though it be tried with fire might be found with, unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Um, being those of the countenance of a person's uh, excellent as in formidable, um, wait a minute, brightness as in the countenance of a person's um, excellent as in formidable, uh, as in impressive, intense, inspiring, um, to, uh, fear, terrible, as to intimidate by its power. And the image's head was of fine gold, his breast and arms and his, of silver, and his belly and his thighs of brass. Uh, his head being top heavy um, over the others, um, that ruling um, kingdom, and his legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Iron being formed from fallen stars, meteorites, this being when the supernatural realm comes in. And I saw as till that stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay, and broke them into pieces, this being uh, that rock of our salvation. Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, and the gold broken to pieces together, and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors, and the wind carried them away, that no place was found for them. The stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. This is the dream, and we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Thou, art, thou, O king, art a king of kings, for the God of heaven has given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. Uh, the God of heaven has given thee a kingdom uh, to test his children. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, the beasts of the field and the fowls of the heaven, have thee given into thy hand, and have made thee ruler over them all. Thy aren't this head of gold. Thy aren't this head of gold. He will be gold. Um, everywhere around him is gold. His head is gold. It will be also, a, his head being also a gold color, his hair. Uh, Daniel 3, 1. Um, Nechemeneser the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits and he set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Um, 
because the image is top heavy, he being the head of gold, he made the image of gold. Um, he is known for his gold, uh, the trial of our faith being much more precious than gold that perisheth. Um, then Necomen, he is the son of perdition. Then Necomenezer the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the rulers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the province to come to the dedication of the image which Necomenezer the king had set up. Dedication means a consecration, dedic um, dedicating to service and worship of a deity, uh, taking the place of our Savior, Jesus Christ, um, in man's Savior. Uh, instead of in God we trust. Um, uh, set up means to establish, raise up by laws. Three, then the princes and the governors and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the province were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Necomenezer the king had set up, and they stood before the image that Necomenezer had set up. This being the enforcement of the laws, this will happen when the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, this being when the supernatural realm will be open and Satan will come in to inhabit the vessel he chooses to speak through, that being that man of gold, his head of gold. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things, and as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. This being... Um, the second part of the uh, beast of Revelation 13 being the lamb with two horns that will exercise all the power of the first beast that set up these laws to serve the man savior whose deadly wound was healed. God will give us a reprieve time of freedom before the iron teeth will clamp down and make us serve the man that has set up these laws in place, that have set these laws in place. That will be the voice of the dragon. Uh, to make you serve him as your savior by his mark of authority that being the mark of, of that prick of the poison of that vaccine a proof of your servitude to inject his serpent venom into your body becoming one with the dragon and um then herald a cry aloud to you it's commanding our people nations and languages that at what time you hear the sound of the cornet the flute the sackbut the psalter the dulcimer and all kinds of music you shall fall down and worship the golden image that necomenezer the king has set up that's being when these laws are commanded for enforced on us and whosoever falleth not down and worship shall the same hour be cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace this will be the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold, that being he that is of gold, thy aren't this head of gold, that perisheth, he is that son of perdition, that perishes, though it be tried with fire, our trial will be severe, we will be facing extreme hostility for our stand against um, um, the majority who will bow the knee to the image of Baal. He will give us the strength uh, as long as we have that shield of faith in front of us, we will stand for God. Um, he knows who his priest heart, his Levitical priesthood are, his elect. Uh, that is when you, you will know you were of this priesthood if that is when you uh, see that vision of the, of the breath being blown on the man. Uh, that will give you the assurance that he finds you faithful, his mighty warriors. He answered and said, um, I, uh, in verse 10, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. The fourth kingdom of Daniel 2, verse 40, this will be that ruling kingdom of Judah, because they have no hurt over their iron teeth. When they clamp down with their laws and commands, um, because the the form of the fourth is when they clamp down their laws and commands god's children will stand because the form of the fourth is like the son of god his ruling kingdom the new jerusalem because this will be the seventh dimension of time when all things will be made new the six day man's labor and work will be finished the flat flesh man will be done uh, Revelation 21, 22 through 27, and we'll end it with this. And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it. 
and the city had no need of the sun neither of the moon to shine in it for the glory of god did lighten it and the lamb is the light thereof and the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor unto it and the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day for there shall be no night there and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it and there shall in no wise enter into it anything that defileth neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie but they which are written in the lamb's book of life and we are going to end this today elect you have a great day until the morning